there. You don't know how my mind thinks. See, I got the faith, grace, love connection is righteousness. Well, hello everybody. This is Steven Detweiler. Yep, still having some trouble with the the GoPro. I, I, I can't, I'm going to be doing all of these on the phone this week. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to get it done and do it. So it looks close to what we're used to. And uh, God will bless me. Hey, God blessed me uh, yesterday. Um, the maintenance guys gave my HVAC unit that's in the wall. My this is like a small apartment, and or like a like a, uh, a hotel room. So it has you know the the big HVAC units on and the at the floor, um, like a hotel room. And the one I had, dude, it just barely, barely, barely worked. And these guys blessed me with a brand spanking new one. It's so awesome. I actually came to tears and of, of appreciation when I came in yesterday and saw that. And that's so good. That's so good. This is uh, this is our quote. This is December seventh, Wednesday, December seventh. And let me see if I can get myself a little looking sharp and, and ready to go. Here we go. Um, yeah. And uh, praise God. You know that was our the attack on Pearl Harbor, and then subsequently we gained victory against imperialism from Japan and fascism from Germany. And uh, we won. We won. And I just said this this quote, this quote was supposed to be quote number 96. It's now 137 because we started doing the Rosh Hashanah and uh, uh, the Yom Kippur and the Sukkot uh, quotes. And this happens to, to land on number 7. And you're going to see why it's significant because this is a number seven quote it has to do with the number seven and it has to also do with victory so I you know there's no coincidence with God there's no coincidence in the Hebrew language word for coincidence in the Hebrew language and uh, I believe this is a really good one and you're going to get it and we're going to get it and we're going to grow let's do this thing victory in the body of the king the enemy will rise up against you one way and flee, but flee from you seven ways. That's Deuteronomy 28. What seven ways? Let's go to Ephesians 6. The whole armor of love. One, truth. Thy word is truth. Two, righteousness. Thy word of righteousness. The word of righteousness. Three, the gospel of peace, proclaiming the word has come in the flesh, making us at one with God. Four, faith. It is the word of faith that we preach. Faith in the word that is preached. Salvation, number five. Salvation, number five. You're saved by grace through faith. Number five is salvation. Five is the number four grace. There's no coincidence there. And uh, so five, salvation, receiving and believing the testimony of Jesus Christ, the word of God made flesh. Six, the word, speaking the word from your heart, empowered and manifested by the Holy Spirit of God. And seven, prayer, praying the word, Praying by the Spirit, praying by the witness of the Word, which is the Holy Spirit. This is how the enemy flees from you seven ways. Each of these ways is an application of the Word for your life. The Word is life. Seven is rest. Seven is a finished work. Seven is spiritual perfection. Seven is that time of victory of completion and of time to rest we have this it's our promises go to Ephesians 6 and read your armor and just see how each one of those points to the word of God I love you God bless you and I'll see you next time